my question is, you probably went over it before, but the other day I was turning a piece and I got a really hard knot in the side and in the bottom. And beside the knot, of course, the wood's quite a bit softer. And I was having a heck of a time trying to get a, a smooth surface without having my um, my tuna tool either chatter or even when I sanded it, you know, it would hit the hard spot and it want to dip down. What's the best way to handle that? Okay, I'm open for suggestions. I have one, but uh, somebody else want to jump in and give Buck their opinion? Sharpen your tools better. Say again, sure Charlie. Sharpen the tool a little bit better. Well, uh, I understand about sharp tools, but trust me, it was sharp. Okay. Just soak it in CA glue. Or, right. or a good sanding sealer might stiffen them up enough. Buck, I'm going to go way. Uh, I'm, I'm so far off base, I could, I'm out in left field. I would attack something like that with a shear scrape, uh, with, a, with, with a gouge, roll over to do a shear scrape. Um, you place, you change what is controlling the cut. So you're not riding the bevel where you get a ride in the dip. You can come back and make a sweeping cut on it by doing a shear. And as, as difficult as it sounds, this pencil is going to get a workout tonight. Um, I'd have my tool rest set up. My handle will be way down on me, and I'll make contact as a shear and pull it on down. Now, we will not roll over. I'll just pull it on down. But it's got to be, you got to, this edge, this edge of the flute has got to be cocked up for it to do this year. If it digs in, it's going to, it's not going to bounce over that bad part. It's going to just dig into it. But when you change the angle of attack, it will slide across it. Takes a little control. Now, and as, as Charlie said a minute ago, sharp tools, you cannot do this with tools that aren't sharp. So even if you got to touch them up just one second before with the diamond card, you got a really good, because this is like one or two passes, you'd be done. Um, and that'll give you a good smooth cut. It's a good way to finish the outside of a bow anyway, um, because it, uh, the term shear scraping lends to what I was talking about earlier about the finish cut on the bow with a scraper, shear scraping. They all link together. Um, it's, you're t absolutely in control. There's no bevel drive in it, and there's nothing else. You are absolutely in control. Um, and Heather says, take lighter cuts. Great move, Heather, uh, if you can do that. And, and Ray, Doug Biller says, so light, might want to stand next door to do it. Um, 